Hi plant friends, today we're plant shopping at the Toronto African Violet and just Nereid Society annual show and sale. If you're into African Violets, the shows are the perfect venue to collect some unusual gems. They've got lots of variegated African Violets. They also have some unusual Episcus. Check out these episcias. They've got the episcia pink dream. Plant friends, we've not seen that at all. They also have this pink smoke. Now the smaller plants, those are priced at $10 and the bigger specimen, those are 25 each. You can also get your hands on the chocolate velour as well as the cuprata picasso. Lots of Columnia as well as Primalina and of course I had to scope out the whole section to see what goodies others have picked out. The prices were also reasonable. You can get your hands on an established plant for $8, $10, $20 and even more depending on how nice and full you'd like to have your specimen plant. Additionally, a fantastic amount of plants were in flower. If not, there were nicely labeled pictures, price, and some care tips. Actually, in this mix, I see a few plants that were priced as low as $6. Plant friends, look at all these amazing plants. Just beautiful. Check out this beauty, it was only $12. The name on this one is Seningia Peridot's Creamsicle. Check out this little gem, isn't it beautiful? The name on this one is Caleria Buds Strawberry Shortcake and it was only eight bucks. This little Seningia is nice and cute too, $10. The name on this one is Seningia Tinkerbell. Look at the variegation on Jean's Blue Ice for $10. There's so much variety available. If you've missed this show and sale, there's another show and sale happening. It's at the Lakeshore African Violet Society and that will be on April 20th. The venue is located in Etobicoke, so if you're in the GTA, check them out. Check out the flowers on this one. It's such a beautiful combination. The variegated leaves with the roughly flowers. The name on that one was Hunter's Credence for $14. The next vendor is Nazreen and she's also on Instagram. Her handle is Nazreen Violet. Check out these plants. Look at this beauty. Isn't it wonderful? Those flowers are amazing. Her plants are also nicely labeled. If they're not in flower, she also includes a picture and check out the prices also very reasonable beautiful flowers on this one it's sister sylvia for 15. more amazing variegation but look at this gem with the pink hue on the leaves it's jolly mist also for 15. Plant friends, it's so nice to see so many variegated African violets. We never see these at big box stores. Check out 
check out this streptocarpus. The name on this one, Dale's Polar Lava, and it's 25. This one's called Purple Waters, and it was $20. The flora on this one looks really elegant. The name on it, Scuba Diver for 16. And back here we've got Feather for 18 with those ruffly flowers. Over here we've got Cherokee Tail for 10. The flowers are double pink with white edges. Just gorgeous. Plant friends, for this show I've decided to split it into two videos. So part one you have the shopping and the haul and part two will show the display plants and the prize winning specimen plants. This Harbor Blue is only $20. Now the vendor mentioned there's a similar plant in the showroom that's prize winning. So we'll have to see that in part two. This one's also a stunning beauty. The plant is so nice and full. Here's another beauty with delicate little flowers. Wesley's Bubblegum Cloud. It was $12. On to the next vendor. Now this vendor also had leaf cuttings. Some of the leaf cuttings were priced as low as $3. I also saw a few priced at five. Although this vendor didn't have pictures of the flowers, I have to say almost all the plants were in flower. So nice to see. The name on this one is Dia's Shining Bell and it's 15. Take a look at this beauty. The flowers are stunning. This one is L.E. Cleopatra for $20. I'm so drawn to the variegated plants. This one is L.E. Aisha for $12. Look at that, they also have a Hoya and a Slumbagera. The bloom on that is a beautiful pink and it's 12 bucks. Those dark flowers really stand out against the variegated leaves, a lovely combination. The price on this one is $15 and the name LE Silk Lace. It's amazing. All the plants that we've seen so far from this vendor are in bloom. It's just wonderful. I 
And we've got King P for 15. We've got Summer Twilight for $15. That's a cute name. Pla friends, isn't this a Piscia amazing? $15. It's called Blue Night. Oh, so striking. And the pot's included in the price. Look at that, you can get an Episcia for as low as $5. It's a pink Akaju. Look at this one, it's loaded with flowers. Check this out, plant friends. You can get small seedlings of Destructocarpus for as low as $5. There's also some larger beauties priced at 15. I also saw a few at 18. Look at these beautiful flowers. Here's the contact details for the vendor. Her name is Irena. The flowers are gorgeous. The pink and white is great, but I'm also drawn to the purple and yellow. And look at this one, so gorgeous. A nice selection of plants from Irena. The next vendor had some amazing episcias. They were absolutely wonderful. Check out these pink beauties. He's got the Cleopatra, which is just amazing. This one's the Cleopatra. And over here, it's the pink dream. Wow, he even has some of the unpredictable Helen as well as the pink smoke. Check out the leaf on this unpredictable Helen. There's a little bit of reversion on the leaves, but it's great. It's sort of a sectoral variegation. These are absolutely lovely. He also has the Piscia Picasso, and this beauty was priced at only 10 bucks. There's something about the leaves that just pull me in. It's an unusual beauty, I would say. And in the front, he also has some chocolate velour. And the prices were good too. I saw a plant at $6, $8, 10 and 12 Plant friends, if you're looking for any of those specialty episcias, hit up Micro Mini Sinningia on Instagram. They also have a nice selection of Seningias and African Violets available, but Plafrens, I was absolutely blown away by those Episcias. The next vendor had some unusual plants, even succulents. Now these little beauties, they're called Patricosmias. I'm not familiar with them. I see that some were priced at $8 and a few at 10. 
My friends, here are the vendor's details. Her name is Sophie. Oh, plant friends, look at this. She's got a loaf of forest and they're 35 each. The Penguicolas, they were priced at 15. And look at this, she's got some Euphorbias. Euphorbia Dakariae Nova, and it's $15. And over here, a little Clivia seedling, only one years old, for $15. Check this out. This one's in the Serapegia family. It's so interesting. And look at this as a type of Kalanchoe for 10. Same price for the sundew. Check out this one. It's called Salandra Maxima or Golden Chalice. It's an interesting beauty. The vendor also has a picture of the flowers. It's so interesting. The vendor also mentioned this plant grows like a vine. It's an interesting beauty for sure. These bulbs are interesting. I'm really impressed by this plant selection. If I didn't spend all my money on Episcias, I'd be getting some of these. Look at this, some Seningias for $5 each. They are worthy as priced at $20. Here's some more Euphorbias, Euphorbia Flanagani for $15. This one's called Begonia Morocco for $20. Over here, I see some Hoyas, Hoya Callistophylla. The leaves are nice and large on these Callistophyllas. They're $40 each. I didn't get the name for the next vendor, but they had some unusual gems. I've never seen these Achimenes before. And here's another Episcia. This one's called Blue Heaven and it was priced at six.
the Biscuit Chocolate Velour was priced at 10 and back here there's some Permalinas. Priced as low as $6. The African Violets ranged in price from $6 to $15 each. And check out this variegated columnia. What a beauty. And it's in flower. The price on that was $12, but she had a smaller cuttings for 10. Now check this out. If you're into Calaria, she had a nice selection. Look at the variety that's available. Range in price from five to $12 and the little flowers, they're so cute. These are so beautiful. Now from what I understand, Calarias are fairly low maintenance. They do like it bright and they don't like to dry out completely before watering. So a self-watering setup is best for these. Look at the leaf on this beauty, it's so dark and rich. And it was only five dollars. Look at the leaves on this baby. The leaves are like velvet. And look at that. There's a bit of variegation on the leaves. Just wonderful. Our final table before we get into the hall. Now this table had some minis, $10 without flowers and $12 with flowers. They also had some large Episcia plants for 20. I also saw that they had some carnivorous plants, the Pinguicula. I'm not sure of the price on those. This table didn't have a lot of their prices listed and it was getting too crowded to ask the pricing for each plant. However, the minis were nicely labeled. They had pictures of the plant wasn't in flower. And on this one, the pricing was $10 without flower or $12 with flower. They had some beautiful plants. I wonder what the prices were on these. They were absolutely gorgeous.
My friends, this is the haul. I picked up four new babies for my collection. Two Columnias. Look at this variegated beauty. Absolutely stunning. The Columnias I paid $10 each. From what I understand, they're fairly low maintenance. Just don't let them dry out too long before watering. And to encourage blooms, I'll give this cool temperatures in the fall for it to set bud and bloom in the spring. Also picked up two new episcias. This beauty is called Episcia Cleopatra. Look at those leaves. There's something about these episcias that have been calling my name lately. A new collection is forming. And this beauty, wow, it's scrumptious. Episcia Pink Dream. This one I paid 25. It's a full pot. There's about three or four plants in this pot. And I find episcias don't like to dry out too much as well. I actually enjoy the self-watering on the episcias. So I'll be adding a little string to each of these plants so they can do their own self-watering. Thanks for watching plant friends. Remember to like, subscribe and comment and follow me on Instagram at Life of Bellina.